What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is the Neobot Q11 robotic vacuum that is self-emptying. This is a great robotic vacuum. It also mops, but it's not working. It bounces around and goes crazy and uh, acts basically drunk. So I'm going to show you right now and we're going to take a look and try to fix it. There is a reset pinhole if you need to use that, but in this case, I don't think it needs a reset. I think it just needs a new motor for one of the wheels I think are defective. So this wheel feels good. It has a spring effect. This wheel has a spring effect. The spring is attached and it feels good. And this one rotates, this one rotates. So I'm not sure what exactly is the issue. It could be a motor issue, but this one sounds kind of, I don't know if you hear that. It sounds different. Yeah, this one sounds, doesn't sound as, it does this, yeah, listen to the motor. It sounds a little bit rattly. This one has a little bit more of a steadier tone to it. Doesn't sound rattly. So not exactly sure, but we're gonna replace this one first because I think this one is the bad one. And that is near the brush side. And so we wanna make sure everything is cleaned out. So eliminate any other issues see this wheel spinning freely which is good so sometimes there's pet hair caught up in that and it could cause the vacuum to um, you know act like drunk or just kind of like navigate kind of screwy i contacted neobot which is now nia casa customer support and i actually purchased this is out of warranty so i purchased uh, the wheel assembly with the motor and it was only 20 bucks so i was like hey give me both of them because, you know, this one might go bad eventually. So I have both of them. $20 each, you know, $40. And this unit is like about 500 bucks. So I think it's worth it. All right. So we're, we're going to get started. Let's see where... So as you can see, it just goes in circles. And it bounces around things. Yeah. So let's go ahead and pause it. So it goes this way counterclockwise. So I'm thinking it's this wheel right here near the brush. So go ahead and turn off the unit and pop off the brush, then remove the screws underneath the unit. And then once you do that, you have to remove the dustbin and then it should pop off that cover. And then since you're at it, might as well clean the brush. The left side pops off pretty easily. The right side does not pop off, so don't try. But you want to make sure that brush is nice and clean. Since you're already inside the unit, might as well clean it, right? And so right here, I already replaced the battery. I did a video on that. But you want to unplug the battery while working on it. Now I'm going to remove the screws on the right wheel. And make sure you separate the screws because there are different size screws. So as you can see, I'm putting those to the right and then the other ones to the left of the unit. So once you remove the screws, you want to, um, well, right here I'm getting a sidetracked. <laughs> so I'm showing you like, you know, popping off the wheel, making sure the wheel spins. Because sometimes if that wheel does not spin and it's covered in pet hair, then it could also make the, you know, robot vacuum navigate kind of, you know goofy so back to the right wheel when you remove it you want to pry up on that cover and then grab the wheel make sure you don't rip out the cables and so you, you just want to like hold it hold the wheel because it's on a spring and then grab the cable don't pull it all the way out but grab the cable and pinch and pull it out once the cable is undone and then you can go ahead and unhook the spring since you're at it, you might as well vacuum out the inside. Sometimes there's a lot of pet hair inside underneath the wheel. All right, so right here, 
I'm showing you that there's a crack in the plastic, maybe because the motor could have overheated, who knows. But right here, you make sure you get a Phillips screwdriver and you wanna push that pin all the way through. Make sure you don't poke yourself. Make sure you're pushing away from yourself too and grab needle nose pliers and pull out that pin and that cover should come right out. Now put that to the side and uh, grab the new wheel. The new wheel I got from Nia Casa. It comes two in a box. And then you push that pin back in. Make sure it's flush on both sides. And then go ahead and next you're gonna, well I have a technique I wanna show you. So you can use a string or a wire, I'm using a wire, and you wanna weave it in to that loop on the spring, at the end of the spring, and then go ahead and hook on the spring to that hook on the wheel, if I move my big head out of the way. And then once you hook it, and then you could pull out the string or pull out the wire, it makes it a lot easier to hook. Instead of messing around with it, with your fingers, you just use the string. It really helps. I saw that on a YouTube short. So anyhow, uh, you want to go ahead and connect that cable to the wheel motor. Make sure you push both ends in flush. And then remember you have the spring on so there's going to be tension and then once you secure that cable onto that motor connection and then you want to press down on the wheel make sure it's lined up perfectly once you have the wheel inside then you can push down on that cover make sure it's flush before you start screwing everything in there we go and you want to hold in place because if you don't hold that down, then it's going to pop back out. So as long as you have one screw in, you can put the other ones in really easily. And then so now we're going to work on the other side. This is the left wheel. It's labeled L for left. That's how you know the difference between both because all the parts are labeled L or R. And so the unit is actually has L and R on the actual vacuum. So I'm going to go ahead and pry that out. There's actually an L on that wheel cover, that plastic white wheel cover. It has an L on it. You can't see it, but it's on there. So that's how you know which is the left and right side. And then go ahead and unhook that cable and then push that pin through using a Phillips screwdriver. Once again, away from you, we're going to push that pin away from you so you don't accidentally stab yourself and then vacuum it out and then we're going to use that wire trick well first we're going to put that pin back in put the cover on this is the new wheel assembly all right and then so we're going to use that wire trick weave that wire in that loop on the spring at the end of it and then we're just going to hook it on to that plastic hook. Make sure you're, you're holding on the wheel really secure because now it's on the spring. And then so you want to go ahead and put the wheel down and hook the cable into that motor connection. Go ahead and just line it up and plug it in. And then once you have that cable connection secure on both ends, make sure it's flush and even. And then go ahead and press the wheel down and line it up perfectly inside the vacuum. And then go ahead and push down on that plastic cover. Make sure it's flush before you put any screws in. Once you have one screw in, then everything else should be easy to screw in. Don't forget to reconnect that battery and put the back cover on, the small side brush, the main brush, make sure you put it in the right way. And next is to test it. Let's turn it on and find out. Now right here I'm just turning it on for the first time and looks like it's going around in circles just to 
get a feel of where it's at. And now it's finally going straight. It's not going in circles anymore, which is good. And it hit my sandal. Now it's turning around. But it is going straight, and that's what I was looking for. So hopefully you found this video informative. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos. Thanks, guys, for watching.